Hi, I'm Danny with Wildridge Boats, and we're here in the Wildridge Boat showroom, here to check out my new 17 Alaskan XL. Wanted to give you a glimpse of all the options that I chose and, and uh, what makes this boat work for me. So, uh, from the outside of the boat, we'll start at the top here. We have a 21 and a half inch LED headlight. This is great for when I'm getting out on the river super early, get down to that salmon hole and, and drop anchor before any of the other guys get down there. And uh, it just makes it really nice. And, and uh, you know, it, the LED really lightens up the, the horizon. I can see everything. So it's awesome. Um, going around the side of the boat here, I've got these uh, Sawyer Dynalite composite oars. These suckers are super strong. The blades are, are, are a low profile and, uh, and, and they're, they're really sharp on the edges so I can really cut through the water. But this boat isn't really primarily set up to row. These are more for, for as far as like safety goes and, and it's also nice for if I'm drifting down into a tail out and I want to I wanna get into some, some fishy water and, uh, and not spook the fish. So, so that was what I had in mind there. Sitting on an easy loader trailer, we've got the, the guidons here that makes it really nice for, for those boat ramps that where you have the, the water running really hard and it may be really difficult to put your boat just perfectly on the, on the trailer. So all you, all you have to do is, is pull your, your nose up to the edge here, give it a little throttle, and it guides right on. Come around the back of the boat here, if you want to follow me. So this is a 17-foot, 10-inch model. It's based off our 20-foot Alaskan XL, which is an awesome tracking boat. It doesn't just side drift well, it pulls plugs well. It floats super level in the water. And that's what just makes these XLs so nice. They have a 76-inch uh, bottom with an 89.5-inch beam. So it makes it really nice in the water. You've got a lot of displacement on the water. We, and the 20 XL was so popular for so long, we thought about why not build a small boat? a smaller version of the XL to get into some of those smaller rivers. Um, some of the smaller rivers that don't necessarily uh, uh, accept a 20-foot boat. You know, not that those rivers can't have a 20-foot boat, but uh, maybe in terms of uh, the local community and, and what's accepted and what's not. So perfect boat for a 17-foot length. You can side drift out of it, pull plugs. It's going to sit super level in the water. And because it is a 17-foot boat, I'm able to put a 115, and that's 80 horsepower through the jet on the back of this, and get pl plenty of power. Perfect for, for three guys side drifting or, or what have you. Um, I can put a fourth guy in it, but it really shines as a three guy boat. Okay, so from first glimpse, I've got a lot of guys that walk in and say, wow, that's a really nice 20 foot boat. It's not a 20 foot boat, this is a 17 foot boat. It looks huge because it is. It's got a really wide beam. It sits super level. Lots of displacement on the water. So that's the beauty of having this 17-foot boat. You're not going to find a wider beam, a wider bottom 17-foot boat out there. Uh, just going from back here, we've got a, a Yamaha T99, 25-inch. It's got electric start, electric tilt. Makes it really nice for when I'm drifting down. Say into a shallow tail out, I can, I can get to it on the fly, I can put it up, get right back to my motor, start up and get going. Um, got a hot water sink here, I can warm my hands and wash the eggs off my hands when I'm fishing during the winter time, makes it really nice. Also a wash down pump, 25 foot coil hose, it'll get you all the way to the front, clean out your, your fish boxes and, and storage and whatnot after the day's over. Got a little Miller Marine uh, tool holder here as well. Nice and low profile, you can put all sorts of tools in there. Also got my rod rack here. When I'm side drifting, I let my rods out of the way, so that's right here. Um, also my console. My console's nice because it's big enough I can have all my gauges on it and all my switches, all my deck lights. You can see I'll turn these things on and off. Got cabin lights there floor lights, blue LED lights there. It also lights, you can't see it, but it lights up underneath the transom over here. For the floors, I went with, uh, went with the option of having Linex floors over the standard floors. They're really nice because they're very easy to clean. They're going to last for a long time. And in fact, sometimes 
they, even when they're dirty, they still look clean. So I actually forget about them a lot of the time. So they're really nice floors to have. Um, I've got, uh, you can see from there, I've got some different uh, leader trees. I've got one on each side over here. So the guy that's fishing up front, if he breaks his line off, he can just grab a leader off there, tie it up, and away he goes. I've got those up here. I've got a, a three leader dispenser tree here as well. But you can't see, it's under my transom. Um, up, up, in the, up in the bow, in the aft portion of the bow, we've got a, we built a, a big bulkhead wall here and a split storage area. What I like is in this aft area, if it's a smaller boat and I, I want to keep things as level and, and balanced as possible, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about putting my batteries up here up front. Get them up on the nose, put a little bit of weight, distrib distribute the weight up there. So I've got dual batteries up here. I've got a switch back there where I'm, where I'm working. And we've got this welded wall here with a, with a fish box, a welded fish box, and a drain plug here. So that's really nice. Up front, I've got two storage areas. So I've got this half storage area. And up front, I have a whole other storage area. This is where I can throw my life jackets and all my, all my stuff, just get it out of the way of the floor so I can not trip over things. Up here I've got a V-lock anchor. This is a can anchor. On the 17 foot boat I have a 40 pound version. So I've got a uh, half inch double braided rope. It's going to keep me safe. I can drop anchor in most places where I fish. So that's my boat. I've been through several boats over the years. I've been part time guiding since 2002. I've had six jet boats now in all, five of, of which were Woldridge boats. So I'm kind of a fan. I was a fan before I ever came here. This is my latest boat. This is my rendition of the perfect boat. For a 17-foot boat, and for what I do, I don't think that there's anything else. I wouldn't add anything to this boat. This is it.